She wanted me to scatter her ashes on Flegger's beach in Daytona. And I said, no, I don't think so. I don't think anybody in Florida, after you killing all them men, want your ashes here. <laughs> You're coming to my home where you're loved. And this is I think, safe that I've had since 1993, I believe I got it. After she was so paranoid, somebody was going to sneak in my house. Those are all letters. But she did have nothing but plenty of time to write. So that's what she did. <laughs> And here's a picture of uh, when I had went down to the court of Tyra Moore and Don Botkins together at the courthouse. Tyra Moore, Ty quit writing her. That bothered Eileen's heart really bad. So she wrote me and had me write Ty. Ty wrote her letter, said she moved on with life. So she can't never write her again. But at least she did that, you know, so Eileen could quit thinking about it all the time. That's all she thought about. Was she sick? Was she hurt? What happened to her and all that? I don't know. This is just our, our, our visits. I was one lucky girl to have such a great friend who always had the pictures taken because she wanted to. Some she had signed for certain things. It is, again, my favorite sign. When I was a young hippie back in the old 70s, and that's the peace sign. She loved giving the peace sign that in the finger. <laughs> She doesn't look at herself as a serial killer. Just a dictionary does. <laughs> and people like you.